Uh, yes, hi. My name is Jordan Smith. How are you doing today? All right. Great. Well, do you remember I spoke to you last week, but you were pretty occupied at that time, and you wanted me to give you a call back. Do you remember me, or you forgot? I forgot. What uh, refresh my memory? Well, uh, the reason of my call is to inform you that you are qualified for state regulated and state approved final expense program, and it is designed to cover. 100% of your burial expenses as well. Basically, state has recently approved some additional discounts and benefits, and I'm calling you today to just to give you some information and let you know the discounts and benefits that you can qualify for. So you're living in Wisconsin, right? Yes. And how young you are? What's your age right now? Uh, 58. 58. And at the age of 58, do you have high blood pressure, diabetes, or COPD? No. Uh, okay. COPD, I do. All right. And do you smoke cigarettes or use tobacco products? I do. All right. And who would be you consider as your beneficiary, like your son, your spouse, or your daughter? My 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 spouse. Your spouse got you. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong. I have your zip code with me is five three one seven two, right? That's correct. Perfect. And sir, one last thing from my side, as I promised you before that we are just giving you information on these state regulated plans. Just in case if you like something, you're going to go ahead and take advantage and you can take your time to think about it. So we got a three different incentive based program in which you may qualify for. So you can let me know on which plan you would like to learn more about, okay? The lowest is start with 1,000 to 5,000 for the cremation. For the funeral and burial, we got 10 to 15,000. And if you want to leave more behind for your loved ones, so we got 20 to 25,000. So you would like to review the information on the highest plan, lowest one, or probably the middle one? Uh, probably the highest one. All right. And what's your date of birth to make you 58? 10 11 10-11? Well, my daughter born on 10-12, 2011. Yeah. I wish I could give you the present on the same day, but she born yeah. in 2011. <laughs> and, uh, sorry to mispronounce the name. How do you pronounce your first name? Uh, Bernard. And your last name? Uh, B-E-A-T-T-I, -E. B -B -E right? Yep, that's correct. Perfect. Uh, so that's all then here. Thank you so much for helping me out with the qualification criteria. I will bring my supervisor, my floor manager on the line. He will just re-verify your details to make sure I do not miss anything uh, because it's my second week at my job. I'm a new guy here, and we all human beings, and we do mistakes, right? <laughs> you bet, right. I would appreciate if you kind of give a few words for my feedback. Uh, that really made my day. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Feet connected, and how's the day been so far in Wisconsin? Is it like a cloudy day or is it a sunny no, day? No, it's sunny, sunny and hot. Mm, okay. Yes, hi. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for holding on. This is Alan on the recorded line. Alan, you got Bernard. Uh, Bernard, you got my floor manager. Uh, he will just re-verify your details and patch with the license agent to show you the best possible options. So you both have a great day from my side. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bernard, thank you so much for holding on, sir. This is Alan on the recorded line. How are you doing today, sir? Are you doing good? I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good. Wonderful. That's great. Uh, well, sir, I won't take much of your time. I will make it quick, keep it short and brief. This is about final expense insurance, and we are calling to provide you some information about it so that you may have a look on it. In case if you like it, then you may consider that you may think about it, okay? Okay. So we have different coverage plans, sir. My associate just mentioned here that he would like to check his pricing for twenty to twenty-five thousand, right, sir? That's correct. October the twelfth, nineteen fifty-two. That makes you sixty-eight, right? Yeah. All right. And God forbid, do you have any major health issues like cancer, heart attack, dementia, HIV, any of these major health issues? No. Thanks, God. And one last thing, I would like to confirm.